to sunny Vancouver. I enrolled in two classes at the local university for painting. I feel like my pipe dream growing up as a kid was always to be a painter. I'm finally biting the bullet. I'm gonna start off sucking and I probably won't make things that I like. And that's fine. in an hour. Yeah, I signed up for a gym membership, okay? I feel so unfamiliar with weights. Like, I literally haven't even properly used the gym equipment section. I've just been going to classes because it intimidates me so much. I'm booking it. <gasps> okay, wish me luck, please. I'm scared. <laughs> That was actually really fun and it makes me feel kind of excited to lift weights in the actual gym part of the gym. I really love doing these group classes because it's just a bunch of like moms and it's kind of nice to see like women who are older taking good care of their health and looking strong. It inspires me. Next stop, grocery store. the cutest cutlery set you've ever seen in your life. Do you see that? He's a duck. A goose? Swan? Mm. Oh my god. Wow. Mm. Oh my god, someone's watching me eat. Killed it. It's 6 p.m. I finished the video that I started filming five, four months ago. Five months ago, been editing for a month and a half. I feel so cathartic right now. I love eating like everything, every last bit of produce from the fridge and then fully filling it up again. Cause this way there's also like no food waste and you just see everything clearly. So satisfying. I made myself some delicious kimchi cabbage stir fry. Oh, Uploaded the video last night. I'm feeling like still kind of jittery, a little bit anxious in my body. So I'm taking us to one of my favorite parks. There is like a sharing farm and it just fills my heart with so much joy. <laughs> they even have setups of different compost bins. It just makes me so happy to see what everyone is doing in their own little plots of land. And even though I don't have a place to garden or farm at the moment, I'm gathering my inspo. It's so cute. I air fried some of the Chinese cauliflower and then steamed up this little bun and put in a Beyond Meat patty and some kimchi and ketchup. <laughs> okay, purr. This is so good. Mmm. There's also a really huge sharing farm over there, so I'm gonna try and see if I can get a volunteer spot. Hi, is this where I get my student card? Leah Way. Thank you. Let's go check out the library. I wanna see if there's some reference books I can use for my figure painting class. These are my final picks. I like this one because it's like more historical. This one's really cute. A lot of old couples in here and they all have really funky styles. So I feel like that would be really fun to draw. And then this is another really much older book as well, more artistically composed. And then this one is amazing. Someone else already like borrowed it and made bookmarks 
on really cool pictures. One of the things that really gave me the courage to sign up for painting classes was seeing how much you guys love the digital calendars I made for Year of the Rabbit. It felt surreal to see people use them all around the world and I even had friends tell me they recognize other people with them. So thank you so much to everyone who supported. Please let me know what ideas or themes you want to see explored in the 2024 calendar. Today's sponsor is actually the commerce platform I've been running my shop on for over the past three years and that is Shopify. It's been such a seamless and fun experience selling physical products to digital downloads. They've made it super easy for me to start, grow, and manage a business. So even if you're running a passion project like me, they have everything you need to begin. Plus, if you want to scale up in the future, they also have the tools to power huge brands around the world. You can easily set up custom inboxes and even sell in person, which I'd love to use one day if I ever have a pop-up, fingers crossed. So if you want to join me in sharing your creations with the world, you can get Get a free trial with the link shopify.com slash leah's field notes heating up two of my different leftovers for breakfast i have 15 minutes to finish breakfast before i drive to school and i set my alarm like an hour earlier than when i woke up because i want to be someone that's not like rushing to get somewhere and just like do things very leisurely but man my body needed that sleep hello Hi, my name's Leah. I just got to Vancouver. I went to school for graphic design, but I took a figure drawing class that I really love. And I'm exploring perhaps the idea of like going back to school for fine arts. So just starting here, to see how it is. Right, so the tune is behind the arm. So don't forget back bits you can't see. successfully completed my first day of class. I'm feeling so sleepy, but there's an ice cream spot nearby. Apparently it has really good vegan flavors, so I think we should go reward ourselves with some ice cream. Okay. some amazing leftovers I made yesterday. Kimchi rice cakes with cauliflower, tofu, and kabocha squash. It is so freaking delicious. Actually, I actually have a yin yoga class in half an hour that I'm taking with one of his friends that he dances with. I've met her before a few times, but we never hung out our, on our own, so. And also, I've been learning some Japanese. Not that I can say a lot, but I'm gonna surprise her. Mizu to ocha kudasai. Ocha to mizu? Oh yes! Yes. <laughs> How do you say you are kind? Anata wa? Anata wa? Yasashi. Anata wa yasashi. Oh, <laughs> I got the zucchini banana muffin. I love the houses in Kitsilano. They're so cute. <laughs> <laughs> thing to do at Eric's is play Studio Ghibli background music on his projector with the lamps on and just eat and I think I'm gonna get some work done or plan my week before I have an 8 p.m. meeting because that's what happens when you work with people around the world. Made myself a little kabocha miso tofu soup this morning. Mm. I woke up feeling really good and well rested, but then the moment I start thinking about like, okay, how do I plan my day? What should I do first? What should I do next? I feel like there's a lot of like little to-dos that I really have to get done this week. I started feeling so anxious and like indecisive. I'm gonna go to the mall to do a return at the Apple store. I don't want to do anything. <laughs> 
Should I go to the gym? <laughs> Maybe just walk on a treadmill? It's raining like crazy right now. Look at all these beautiful strawberries. How can I not feel happy hanging out on a farm? Wow, so many apples. I'm in heaven. <laughs> wow, so much lettuce. Matching. There are so many birdies and little creatures everywhere. had also subscribed to the limits I thought society placed on me. One of my main priorities for having this more settled, grounded period of my life is cooking myself really good meals. And I think in the past, I wouldn't have put as much effort if I was just cooking for myself. Really going above and beyond and trying out this new steamed gluten. It's so spongy, kind of crazy. It's so good too. With lots of oyster mushroom as well. And then I got these like Korean frozen udon noodles. So good, oh my gosh. Considering I have no idea how to blend skin tones, it's a little bit rough, but we're getting there, okay? Feels like I'm on the right path towards something, making things that I'll genuinely really enjoy. I'll come back and continue tomorrow.